Welcome to Valerian Bay, I'm Susan. I'm so pleased that you're here today. So today we're going to talk about how you can get in touch with your higher self and why you would want to get in touch with your higher self and what is your higher self. So let's start with what is your higher self. Your higher self is the version of you at an energetic level that doesn't have all of the 3D issues um, so it's kind of you at a soul level, uh, you without all the worries and concerns of ego or attachment or past issues or future worries. It's it's your core essence and you can tune into it almost like another person that you can talk to and get really um, truthful information. Um, and the information will come through in a way that is not tarnished with lower level worries and concerns so the way that you know the information is correct is that it will be very heart centered it will be positive loving it won't be angry or resentful or you know there won't be any of that that's your ego element so the key aspect of knowing that you're speaking to your higher self is generally that it will be nice. That that essence of you will be nice and loving and caring and will see you from the, in the highest possible good. Um, so how do we get in touch with our higher self? Well, also, and why do we want to get in touch with our higher self? So our higher self can guide us. A while ago... I used to generally channel information from Ascended Masters, the angels, um, different higher states of being. And I used to get information about what's going on on the planet, what's going on at an energetic level. Um, and I still do that now. But I noticed over the last several years there was a shift. And those higher energetic beings shifted to a higher energetic level and I think it's because mass consciousness was starting to rise in its frequency um, anyway which meant it was getting closer to those higher vibrational beings which meant that they it enabled them to then um, escalate frequency wise as well and as this happened it started to become apparent through my information that I was getting that tuning into your higher self was the next stage rather than looking outside of yourself. So even channeling higher beings and ch channeling um, ascended masters, you're still looking outside yourself. Whereas if you're tuning into your higher self, you're tuning into yourself and the information is still coming from within you. And given that each of us has um, the cosmic elements of the universe within us, and if you like, the way it can be described by some people is that God is within each of us. You know, we're meant to have a microcosm of the universe within each of us at a biological um, level. And you'll notice that if you watch Disney's uh, The Wish they do a song saying you're a star <laughs> because you are um you have a cosmic um microco a microcosm of the universe within you i can't even say my words this morning <laughs> so let's talk about how to actually get in touch with your higher self and i would practice this regularly um and you can even do it just for 5 minutes just to check in so your higher self is generally about two feet behind you and two feet up so very close but energetically they're just a little bit in a higher space from you and this is where i tend to find my higher self so you can close your eyes take some nice deep breaths because that gets you out of your head space focus your attention on your hands and in your heart space and just slow things down and just take those breaths in nice and slowly so that your stomach expands and goes back down again. And set the intention that you are going to contact your higher self. 
and keep breathing nice and deeply just to slow yourself down so that you get into a different brainwave frequency and you get out of your head and into your energetic body and then just look for your higher self energetically with your eyes closed and seek seek for them and they may present themselves in a different way so my higher self doesn't particularly look exactly like me um, it is a version of me that hasn't been impacted by 3d life um, and you might just feel that your higher self is there you might hear them you might just sense them you might see them you might just know that they're there ask them to tell you three things about you and the way that you'll know it's your higher self is because they'll say three really lovely things and then you can ask them a question um that you need to know the answer for you could just do, say something like is there something i should be doing is there somewhere i should be focusing my energy what's going on in my life and just allow that information to come to you in the silent space just take your time with that and feel love in your heart and gratitude for the sacred wisdom that is already within you for the sacred wisdom that your higher self presents to you now I'm making this really short so you can give gratitude and thanks to your higher self and send love to them and then just um, wriggle back into your body feel your fingers feel your toes take a nice deep breath and open your eyes now if you just do that in little increments regularly so maybe every day that will build it up and you'll start to find that you don't even need to slow down to go into that you'll automatically connect um, and it will bring you val valuable information and it will help to keep you on your soul path, help to drive you towards your soul purpose, towards your soul mate, towards your soul tribe, all those sorts of things. And um, will help you operate at a higher vibrational frequency, which is what we want so that we raise the mass consciousness of the planet. If you want to work with me to help you with any of these things as a life coach, um, just pop on to www.valerianbaycoaching.com, fill in the get in touch page and um, we can have a free conversation about how I can support you going for forward. I also recommend clicking on the subs subscribe and uh, notification button just so that you don't miss anything. Have a wonderful day, take care, goodbye.